All right, we're going to get started over here. Um, we are sorry that we didn't have as big of a turnout as we would have liked. Um, my name is Amy Wolf. I'm the programming coordinator for the Austinville Village Library. I'm sure some of you have already seen me five or six times this year so far, or more. Um, but we are excited to have Mark Chester here today with his newest book, Roadshow Anthropology. And it's it's a absolutely gorgeous book. I haven't peeped all the way through. I wanted it to be a surprise. Um, I'm hoping to grab my own copy at the end of all of this. Um, but thank you so much for joining us today. And I look forward to seeing this on Zoom as well. All right. So here is your clicker. Thank you. I'm going to just sit down and join you. <laughs> and it's it, it'll be more of a conversation. And so feel free to. Can you hear me? <laughs> Will you be able to change the slides with it from here? Try going down or up. Yeah. Oh, good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what about that little? Uh, Gizmo on the right that shows the camera. That has to stay. So that's that's on. That's recording. So if I if I go, oh, if I go. Stays. Bottom is never going to move until I shut it up. And then it won't record if you shut it off. Right. Uh, it only records what so, we're seeing. So it'll it it kind of gets into the picture then. Huh? Um. I can move from the middle. I'm trying to move them down a little bit. How's that? If it if it goes off, if you move it all the way to the right, will it still record? It will record only the slides and not your picture. Okay, so whatever is the best. Position so it doesn't interfere with the scene. You want it completely off so that we're only look, looking at slides and they can hear your voice still. What did you want it reported? So it's up to you. It's it's up to you. Do well, you I want just, to see your face. No, I I, just, I was just concerned so that you could see the photographs. You okay, know, on, so on I'm, gonna, I'm gonna minimize it and they're not gonna be able to see your face. Oh, that's fine. You don't have to see my face. Okay. I hide behind the camera anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's better, I think. Is that better? No, I, okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I'll be up there soon. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, welcome to yeah. Roadshow Anthropology, Mark Chester. So thank you. Well, thank you for coming. And um, I know you said you take pictures. You're kind of a-, a I buddy. shoot from the hip. And, shoot uh, from the hip. Yeah, and you uh, haven't had a hip replacement. Well, I'm pretty darn close. <laughs> so you have to get a new camera. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about you? Uh, do you take pictures too? Yes, you do. Well, I used to have the, the full camera workshop, you know. Oh, good. But now it's just with the phone. So, so I'm also taking camera. pictures. I'm sorry. I've got a camera. Okay. So, so you see. Mm -hmm. So, so you take pictures, and you're aware of photography. Photography is. It's so much more than than taking pictures. It's really thinking. You have to think about taking pictures, and and you have to anticipate taking pictures. In in re, with respect to, well, you want to make good pictures. I mean, that's your goal is to take to make make a good picture if you can, as opposed to just taking a snap. So you have to think about your position, what the what the picture is. I always ask myself, well, what what is the picture? And that helps me to focus on what the photograph is really about when you see something. So thinking is really an important element of taking photographs. Now with this particular project, because I'm taking it from the car, I really don't have an opportunity to, to frame it. I'm just taking a wide angle shot and I couldn't do this project without using a digital pen, because with the autofocus. And I was always shooting for, so I've been photographing since 1968, 69, 
and I didn't get a digital camera until 2011. So I had to kind of relearn the whole idea of technology. And, and I'm not a technical person because my background is more journalistic. So I'm looking for the story. And this particular project is a storybook. It's not an art book per se, whereas my other book was this one. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Anywhere, you can sit anywhere. <laughs> Julie, isn't it? Alicia. Alicia. Yeah. Oh, I, I just started, so you didn't miss anything. Okay. So I was saying that this this particular book is is not a an art book, hence it's paperback, and the photographs were all taken from the car. So I use, I've been using this camera. This is a, a Canon, and this is called a point and shoot. And what I like about this, this is the the newest model. There's. <laughs> So I, I had a few of these, maybe four iterations of this particular camera. But what I would do is if I saw a billboard as I'm driving, I would just press down the, the button to get the focus in mode, the auto, auto focus mode. And then when I was at the billboard from the car at the right angle, I would click it, but I wouldn't look at the screen. Mm -hmm. because I'm driving so but I can see what's happening so with photography you're always looking ahead and you're always looking to the side and you're looking behind you to see what what might the picture be so you know, you need to be aware and all the time and you take pictures do you take pictures too mm -hmm. all right so we all take pictures so and we all see something different even though we might be looking at the same subject, which is so amazing. So it's all subjective as to why we take that particular picture that we see. It could be personal, it could be funny, it could be sad. I mean, it, it's really a reflection of who we are as to the pictures that we take, I would say. Do you, do you think that's a fair statement? <laughs> the question is, what do you do with all these pictures? And since tech, since since the um, the uh, digital camera, people tend to show pictures on their phone or their iPad or their computer. I mean, you don't see pictures on the wall like we see here, mm -hmm. which is really, I think, what photography is all about: is to see the print. Mm -hmm. It's a print. And it's the quality of the print, and it's the print that takes you in to that picture. So I started taking pictures from the road about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, when I was doing a project, this, and this is in the library, as a matter of fact, this is the Bay State, a multicultural landscape. And these are photographs, they're portraits of foreign-born Massachusetts residents who have become naturalized citizens. So to become a naturalized citizen, now you're from England. Naturalized. Are you a naturalized citizen? Mm -hmm. Well, well. I did one in Panera Falls. Say again? I, I took my oath in Panera Falls. Yes. Falls. How long ago? Oh, 2002. 2002. So, so you, but you waited maybe 10 years before you got a no, green card? A few years before that. I was sponsored by my daughter. Mary. Oh, 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 so you had, you, your daughter was, was a citizen already. So, so it takes, but it takes a while to become a citizen. Okay. And so, questions. say again. Yeah, if you want. There's a hundred questions. Choose you, you probably know more about civics. I did then. <laughs> I did then. <laughs> Yeah, we should we should all become citizens again to learn about who we are. Didn't you know which one they were going to ask you. Hundred questions. Yeah. So, uh, so I drove all across. So I would go to a lot of these ceremonies at Faneuil Hall at the um, before COVID. They used to be every week in in um, in the federal courthouse locally in. Heinz Auditorium in um, 
Seaport Convention Center, Springfield. I mean, a lot of different places all over the state. And I would go there. I would travel there to meet people from the countries that I had not photographed yet. I would get a I would get a list of the countries that were being represented to get a citizen to get a, to get a citizenship papers. And then I would meet them, I would introduce myself, what project I'm doing. And this was uh, sponsored by MIRA, which is the Massachusetts Immigrant Refugee Advocacy Coalition. So I could present this as a credible project because it's very sensitive to ask people who just become naturalized, you know, who are you, where are you from, blah, blah, blah. And so I was sensitive to their concern. So, so I would drive all over the state. I would probably put, so this was from 2011 to 2022, I was driving across the state and maybe I put on 25,000 miles, 30,000 miles. So I was driving the back roads. Fortunately, I had GPS because there are 351 towns in Massachusetts. So I would go all the way to Williamstown. I would go west to, to Springfield and north to Amesbury. I mean, all over. So while I was driving, I took pictures because usually I take pictures when I'm walking, but I was driving. So that's when I came up with the idea of taking pictures. And you know, when you drive and you're in your car, I mean, I don't know if you notice things, but do you notice trucks? Do you notice what they're carrying? Do you notice billboards? Do you notice commercial vehicles with funny names? I mean, there's a lot in front of you when you're in the car. And so I thought it would be an interesting idea to get a collection of photographs, put it together, and do a book. And so that's what I did with Roadshow Anthropology. And I called it Roadshow Anthropology because I was on the road, but anthropology is the study of what makes things human. Or what did, what did I say? Let's see, anthropology, the study of what makes us human. So when you see all these vehicles, or when you see trucks towing these this equipment, you wonder what it is, and, and that's part of our creation, innovation. And so I just thought it would be interesting to do a collection of these kinds of things. So let's buckle up and we'll we'll take a little ride here. So did you like did you stop the car? You said you were driving. I would stop the car, I would stop the car, yeah. Oh, oh well, 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 yeah. I mean, a lot of the, when I was in a, on a highway, I wouldn't stop the car unless I saw something and there was a place to pull over and I could get right in front of, of a particular subject that I was interested in. Otherwise, I would just take the camera and preset it and then just like with, that. With a super fast shutter speed or did you intentionally let, did you aim for a specific visual movement? No, no, I was just, I just wanted to capture a still, a still moment so of that particular right. picture. Cool. It's a fast, it's a fast it's shutter fast. speed. Yeah. Okay. But it, but the important thing is to shoot raw so that you have as many pixels in your file sure. so that you can blow it up because a lot of these photographs are, are blown up and cropped because I'm not right there in front of the picture. Mm -hmm. So that, but this particular picture, this is in uh, Mashney Island. Do you know where Gray Gables is? It's near um, Pocasset. It's near, it's in Pocasset. <laughs> I don't, I can't explain where it was. So I saw this and then I would just drive the car and I would shoot from outside of uh, my car. I would, I would shoot from the wind, from my car seat. So I would maneuver the car to get the right angle. Of, of of images like this. Other times it was it was lucky. So let's um and Pico Iyer, who's written around 15 books, is, is an amazing writer. And I met him at he was a keynote speaker and I met him and I liked what he said and I knew of him and we had mutual friends and I commissioned him to write this particular essay. He's he's from England. He was born in England, but uh, his family knew the Dalai Lama. 
So he's he's a really esoteric kind of guy, very nice guy. So this is the one of the title pages. So these so I traveled 495 a lot. I traveled 195. I traveled the turn, turnpike, last pike, and then I drove out to Tucson. Um, 2014 for an exhibition and I carried my artwork with me. So that gave me the interstate highways and back roads. And I just took pictures that struck me for whatever reason in terms of, I mean, here, here <laughs> you've got seven lights or eight lights here. And I mean, there's nothing, it's just a little intersection. I don't know where, why they have so many lights there, but that's what I was thinking. So what you see is subjective as to, is that a picture or not, or what, what does it mean to you? It's relevant. So these are the pictures that Pico mentions in his particular uh, forward here. He mentions uh, historic um, Route 66. He mentions um, Mr. Cesspool. And Larry Flynn. So you have a lot of different subjects, topics, religion, health. I don't know, where would you call us Larry Flynn's Hustlers Club? Enterprising? I don't know. <laughs> I like the one uh, warning vultures may cause damage to your car. I think like these are kind of fun. I mean, the design and also the the town and the sense it reminds me of England when I spent time there. Uh, they have these funny names for their cities in London. You know, there's like elephant upon. What is this? You know, they just have all these names. Right. Names. And we don't have anything quite. I mean, we've got two different consequences, but we don't have as many names. No. Names, eyeball you know? names. Yeah, earworm. I don't know. Just like maybe awesome. we should ask our 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 Elephant English and Castle. Isn't that what it is? Elephant, Which one? Elephant and Castle in England. Elephant and Castle. Elephant and Castle. Wouldn't it be wonderful? Elephant and Castle. Did you know that? Yeah. Elephant and Castle. 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 Because you have to decide whether you're gonna. Oh yes, I would. I did. Yeah, oh, you did. <laughs> yeah. So because it was odd sounding, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, it, it was just odd. So what this? These are oddities, but these are real too. So they they're. But it's a parody with whether or not you're gonna take the road or you're gonna get off it. Has <laughs> the consequence? What are the consequences of taking that exit? Right. Right. That's right. A of a message. Right. But do you remember Truth or Consequences at the oh, television yeah. show with Bob Barker? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You remember that? Anybody? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Truth or was it Truth or Consequences? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Truth or Consequences. It was a quiz show. What was the consequence? If you didn't get the answer, you wouldn't mm -hmm. you wouldn't get any 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 money. Any money. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean. Billboards like this, you know, I mean, I don't know that some lobbying group is that the men, is that, what does that say? Um, well, anyway, it's probably a, a dental lab or something to put that up. And tat away that, that removes uh, tattoos. And then there's a place walk in tattoo. That's somewhere in, um, you know, I don't remember the name of the places where, where I took these. I mean, there were so many. So um, forgive me. Some of them I, I remember, but I'll say this fast. <laughs> so this is a lake near Dudley, Massachusetts, which is north of Worcester. And this was a, a lake um, that was part of the um, indigenous tribe. I forgot the, the tribe. But I forgot what that means. But I have a friend that can actually say that name. Because he because his grand his grandparents had a home on that lake, so he got to know it. So I saw this sign. Well, I saw that I saw that particular name, 
on a on a strip mall. But it went, it did make a good picture. And there was a pizza shop at the strip mall, and I went in and I asked, is there another place where that name is shown? And I was gonna buy a slice of pizza, but they didn't have a slice of pizza. They only had a, a whole pie. And I said, well, I, I, I didn't want a whole pie, but nevertheless, she told me where to go, <laughs> which was only about 10 minutes away. So I just, I'm looking at the, moving my car. I'm trying to frame that, that uh, sign and get it all. And I noticed cars going by and then the semi went by and it was just perfect because it kind of gives you a perspective of how many letters. So that's a semi, that's 56 feet or 53 feet. So I was, I was very happy with that sign. And my photographer's note. So I'm in a, the, the inflatable, I'm, I'm in a mall in Florida waiting for my friend to come out. And um, she was taking a, a long time, which was good. And I'm watching these this couple trying to put this inflatable in the car. <laughs> and um, but what I like about it, what I was thinking about, who's in charge there? Yeah. Can you does it give you an idea of the body language of who's who's making the decision? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. Okay. And he's he's just there to help, right? He's he's saying, why don't you just deflate it and put it in? <laughs> So it's almost like he's communicating with the flamingo or whatever it is, the bird itself. Like it's gonna be okay. Here I'll hold those, I'll hold your flip right <laughs> Yeah, you you, your make, wing. you kind of make up your own yeah. um, dialogue and um, okay. yeah. and whatever it is you're you're you say to yourself, it's it's a picture. Right. For, to me, I don't know if you would take that picture or not. It's something it's... well it's kind of saying like I'm not going <laughs> right. <laughs> you can't leave me. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you have your own little story. So it's a story. Or it's coming out. Maybe it's like, yeah, hey. it's busted out. Yeah. Does it look like it's coming out? It could yes. Be. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, I didn't think of it that way. I was just, I was just observing them and watching them, and I was in a good line, and and I put on the telephoto, and, and yeah, I, maybe and I, maybe it, it's blossoming into a full puffiness as it emerges. Well, I know that they were putting it in. I know, I, I know, I, but, I but know that's, that's your story. But, that's, but no, that's perfectly yeah. fair. And then that's how I was taking the picture. My photographer's notes. You all in black and white. Yes. No, oh, yeah. so with a digital camera, it's all color and you just convert it to oh, a yes. monochrome. Yeah. But uh, I've always been shooting black and white. I mean, unless I'm on an assignment. For a magazine and they want color, then I, I should color. But for my personal work, I like I like black and white. And so I mean there's an array of things out there. I, I love the breakfast room with the two eggs that, that instead of the two O's, it's the eggs. So it's kind of subtle things like that that strike me. And knee or hip pain which we could all, we, we all can identify with at some point in life. So this is the only photograph that was not taken in the United States. Um, and this was in Ireland. And what struck me was very slow. I mean, where do you, you don't see very slow. You see slow, but very slow. So it's, it's a question of language. So I took all these photographs, put them in a file, and then when I felt I had enough, I would pair them. And so that was the fun part of, of it. Initially, I took the photographs because they were interesting to me. I had no idea what I was gonna do with them. Well, I mean, I knew that I was gonna put it, put it in a book and pair them, but I had no idea of what I was gonna pair them with until I had all the photographs. So I maybe had, Oh, a few hundred photographs. So where were these two couple? Where was this couple taken? <laughs> I'm sorry? Where were these taken? Not in the same state. Not in the same state. Uh, I think they were both taken on 495. Okay. So do you anxious see which one did you take first? 
Say again. Which one did you take first? Uh, I took the the airplane first. And then you thought, I can't wait to meet his name. Or did you know what you were looking for? No, I had no idea what I was going to use. Okay. Uh, all I had were the single photographs. And then and then I would go through them again. And then I would pair them to see which ones went together to enhance the story. Do you have any forced marriages? Forced? Marriages? Well, I'm, we're coming to that. Oh. <laughs> A forced marriage? Did you say? A forced coupling. Oh, oh, oh. Well, not quite, but you'll, you'll see. So this is an airport, Marston's Mills, mm -hmm. which, I mean, you can just go there. It's, it's fun to watch it, planes landing and mm -hmm. taking off. I don't know. If it, I don't fly at all, but I, I like to. You can do that in Palmer's office. Yes. Okay. Are you from Palmer? Yes. Oh, it had fly-ins. Oh, right, the West Palmer's the Lord Airport. And uh, great collection of uh, variety of planes. Well, vintage prototype, vintage. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, they do it very, very good. Through COVID, it was probably four years ago that they had the last one. Mm -hmm. But um, it, there's a great turnout and uh, of both planes and spectators. And uh, it'd be, it's interesting to see the planes. And then you interview, and then you talk to the people about some of it, some are. They built themselves. Uh -huh. So you talk to the people out there, out there planes. Go on to something else. What? I'm going to catch up with you another time. Okay. Now, I mean, books, books are available here, or you can go to Tidcombe, or um, let's see, what will be close here? And we can always leave your card here if the guests come to the town at all, where I live too. Okay, thanks for coming. Oh. There's something about that sign, the lone painter. It's just, um, I think it's a great sign for a painter. Mm -hmm. it, it's, um, I don't know how to describe it really, the lone painter. I think it's a, a sort of a philosophical person who's, He's out there and he's painting and he's philosophizing. Yeah. Just just the, the whole idea of that graphic. And then this is a mural in, in um, what's the name of that part? Um, JP. Jamaica Plain. Jamaica Plain, yeah. Oh, oh. Can you imagine having a, because <laughs> you feel like that? <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, this, this is a reflection of who we are. Very cute. And uh, I just like the way the, the graphic of the Bristol police, they're, they're in a certain rhythm there and a certain um, design. And I thought that went well with them. Saint Nick on a motorcycle. So this is my interpretation of the pairing. Of course, you know, you may you may not see it, you may like it, you may not. I don't get the school I see. What's that? What is the what would be the subtitle of it? Of Metal Man and Metal Man and Oh, I see. You get no, 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 no. But the other one? The tree in the church. Well, I thought that the tree kind of, um, I mean, it's an odd tree, but it, it's its almost like it's natural scaffolding look. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's more graphic to me. I mean, that's how I saw it. Oh, I see. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It, there's no right or wrong answer here. It's just, right? Metal Man was, um, you know, putting putting the two cars, the the, the the back of a van together. <laughs> so crossing is the is the operative word there. That's um so that's the Bourne Bridge and that's the canal and you rarely see Barges on the canal. I mean, you, you don't know what 
wanted to go there to see yeah. them, but yeah, it's, it's hit or little, miss seeing seeing them. Oil lodges. Right. So I just I saw that and I saw it as I was about to cross, and then all I did was just stick out the camera and I caught it. So that that was lucky. The placement of that I was very lucky. And then of course when we had COVID. Uh, are those trees that you planted? Say again. What are those? Well, those are burlap. Those are trees yeah, with a burlap wrapping to keep the wind, the wind uh, to keep them, um, I guess, from wind damage. That's yeah. why they put them on. For oh, the winter. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, the, mm -hmm. the cars being yeah, the leaves around the trees. Yeah. Um, to me, I like the graphic mm -hmm. element of the silos and the and the big cup. Mm -hmm. Then I like the the airplane on the right on the left picture. See the mm -hmm. airplane in the corner, top right. That's near the airport, uh -huh. Logan Airport. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. And uh, I mean, at the main, how do you look out to your rear view mirror and see that? And the cars get inspected. Yeah. They get it's it's illegal in Massachusetts. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And these are these are Massachusetts um, cars, I think. Just a, another graphic element, but you know, what are those things that that truck is carrying? I mean, you have no idea what those are. Being part of a wind turbine? Ah, uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I didn't have a chance to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> the wind was too strong. <laughs> Where is it, uh, the picture on the left taken from? Um, unusual architecture. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, Oh, it's a hotel. It's a hotel. I, I think it's in, um, I don't recall. It almost looks like New Orleans. But uh, it's where? Almost, it almost looks like New Orleans. But uh, I, think it, I think it might be Saratoga Springs, New York. I'm well, not no. sure. I'm not sure. But I just thought that they went together. Yeah. And um, I think that's, is that a Citroen? Mm -hmm. I just like the graphic of that with the airstream and the and towing that car. They still make those trailers. Yeah. I saw one the other day. It's a one of the smallest RVs. It's called a bootstrap or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's being delivered to, to um, Martha's Vineyard. It was at the it was at the ferry when I saw mm -hmm. it. It was home. Mm -hmm. And it's maybe it's maybe 15 feet long. It's very small. Is it an um, now, what this is on the right, I have no idea. But how can you miss that? <laughs> so it's oddities that kind of strike my interest. But, the, but when you're driving, you just, I mean, you're already alert to what's in front of you and what's out there. It's taking the pictures that is the tricky part. So I, I kind of practiced using that technique of sticking it out and taking the picture without looking at the camera or the screen. And, and it was just by learning where to position my hand and the camera. And it's a wide angle lens, so, so you can get a lot, but... That's why you need the, the, the largest pixel as you can because you're going to be blowing it up. Do you said it's such a big look there? Have you ever been stopped by the police? <laughs> no, no, good. Well, I, well, there is one. I will, yes, <laughs> there's one time, but I'll, I'll, I'll mention that when I. So, yeah, environment, say again? In Pennsylvania? Th this, I think that's New Jersey. That could be. <laughs> I think that's New Jersey, and yeah. then and then tank technology, environmental compliance for petroleum ah, systems. Ah, ah. Very good. 
Now, I had no idea that these were going to be paired, but I, you know, going through the files, I they just kind of seemed. Uh, oh. So can you imagine going back to this guy to rotate your tires mm -hmm. for life? <laughs> imagine the vehicle that they go on. Exactly. Yeah. So that was the question. What? what where? Where do those tires go? Yeah. I would probably mining, uh, open pit mining. Yes. Something like that. Up in Canada, where they have those. They do. Or Utah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Montana. Yeah. The coal mines. Yeah. And coal fields. So those are those are five tires on that truck. I just like the way the the uh, signs were on the road, and so I saw that coming up, and so I would, you know, so maybe I took two or three shots depending on how fast I was going or and how safety it was, how safe it was to be able to take the picture. Yeah, that's what I was um, So like when you. Put it to the side and take a picture off. Do you have to take a picture to the side? Of a car? Well, you're driving, do you do it in the front? Oh yeah, I do it in front. Okay. It's through the front windshield. So do you set it to take like eight pictures? You know what I mean? Fast? So you get uh sometimes well not I would it's not a few pictures, maybe. Yeah. Maybe some of it is just one. Okay. Or two. Yeah, I would I would take a few to make sure that I got it. Right. And a lot were lucky yeah. to, to get it. And then the, there was a lot of work, post-production work in, in Lightroom or Photoshop. Are you familiar with yeah. those? Stuff? So do you, oh. saw, do you see the, the sand sculpture trail? Do you see these the sculptures, the sand sculptures on, on the Cape somewhere? Yeah. So I always wanted to capture that and that's, in, um, that's near Orleans. No, that's near um, South Yarmouth. And then when I saw that sa sand for sale, it was just a truck that advertising sand for sale. And that was in New Hampshire. But I took it just because it sand for sale. I mean, it's kind of never see another company like that. No, <laughs> probably <laughs> not. Do you enhance the sharpness? Do you enhance the contrast or the sharpness when you yes. make them pop? Yes. I mean, that's the beauty about digital. Right. Using Lightroom, Lightroom, but either Lightroom or Photoshop. Um, I, I had a post-production um, manager help me do that because I am just not techn technical at all. It's a learning process. Are you, are you good at that? Uh, I don't, I don't see the, the, I don't, I love the connection that they have this one. I think, why did you take this picture? Nine games. So in, in, that's in Chatham, where the sharks are, and they have a, you know, you're given a, a blank shark, and then you paint it either way, and then they display it. So it's a fundraiser. Oh, that's okay. So I, that's every year, I'm not sure. And then when we had all the news about great white sharks, I mean, I came across that sign. At one time, they only had about 500 seals mm -hmm. in Chatham. Now they have 15,000. No seals. Because it's global warming. Mm -hmm. And the white white chunks uh, are coming up because of that. But uh, are they there year round or are they migrate? Uh, seals, I bet they stay there. Uh, 15,000? Got to be in the fresh air. They so. notice they. Uh, a great loss in um, lobsters because they're migrating to our Maine, yeah. and we will not have lobsters on Cape Cod. No, I mean they're all from Maine now, or from or yeah, from well, they're, they're yeah. all, they, they they stay here, but um, because of the warm waters, the lobsters will generational. Uh, yes, will they, be moving up into Maine, right? Up the cold water, right? Right. Grace Bono was saying that the white sharks are also. Well, we have to bring it too because there's so much to eat. There. They, 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 they were saying, right? Um, I don't like crab, but white crab out of Alaska, and they've lost hundreds of thousands of crabs in the Alaskan waters because they need extremely cold water. And uh, I, use, uh, I don't just stack with crab. 
with body helps. Uh, that they what, what's eating them? The warm water up in the last. Oh, the warm water is yes, killing them. Yes, because it's not regenerating ah. the, the food um, necessary for the crabs to live on. I had never seen a, a parking sign like that. Yeah, have have you seen West, it? Yeah, out of West I did. It, I don't know where. So I thought that was. Uh, okay. Can you tell me what it says? Expectant mothers. For uh, reserve parking for expectant mothers. Yeah. Oh, whoa. expectant yeah, mothers. Like Walmart. And stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's in Cape Cod Mall. Oh, it's huge. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and there's ones with small toddlers. Middle East toddlers, <laughs> it's like a whole fun. Yeah, house. it's a whole, it's a whole family <laughs> that yeah. you can't park there or or but. <laughs> so this is where thinking of, of of you know it's before and after. Yeah. Very clever. And and I try to keep my windshield clean all the time, so oh, that yes, so that I could shoot through the windshield. Yeah. Front. So here's here's an example of a of a cute name for a business. Yeah. And then the license plate. I don't think like What's that? Um, Astrology boutique. It's like <laughs> it's it's high end future. Yes. <laughs> so that's a reflection. Um, Chicago? On oh, our, no, no, that's in that's in Maryland. That's in Baltimore oh, on the fun. left, and the one on the right is somewhere out west. I'm not mm -hmm. sure where. I did not see the door handle. Say again. I did not see the door handle. Oh, and uh, so you, was, what did you think it was? It was a piece of mine, not oh, and like what do you have in Chicago? And uh, yeah, that's probably the artiest shot in, in the book. I mean, it's it's a, it's a little too arty, maybe. No, no, no. But but I thought it goes. It went well with this particular. I don't know why it just struck me. I like blessings of animals, blessings yeah. of bicycles, blessings. What are some other oddball blessings or that you've seen? I've seen the animals, yeah. I, I haven't seen any bicycles. I haven't seen. I mean, they're fun. So Cupid's Outlet, I'm not sure where that is. Um, the... Um, Native views. That's a uh, route two in um, near Shelburne Falls. Really? Are you familiar with route two? Yeah. It's a nor it's a northern route on Massachusetts that goes to Williamstown. Mm -hmm. oh. So, you know, billboards. You know, it, but, but the funny thing is. What struck me about call Rob Levine, Levine, there's no phone number, there's no contact there. Um, so what's the point of that? I don't know, maybe maybe the guy who did it, designed it, forgot to put the contact? Uh, well, you shouldn't be writing about it anyway. It might be this round or Levine. Well, that's in Connecticut somewhere. I think that's, that's Route 95. So maybe, maybe, if you're in that area, you know you yeah. would you would call him. But I like uh, in pain call Wayne. Yeah. So, <laughs> so do you do the propping yourself, or do you do the propping? Yes. So you you don't go for the the minimal amount of photography uh, classing or class courses like that. I, they always say you have to go for the one third line. Yeah, I I don't know what that means, but. You the just item, they always say put the item of interest on the one third to give them perspective mm -hmm. of 
this is the object of interest and this is not, but it could tell part of the story. Well, I wanted to show that that's a billboard, right? So, sure. and then Wayne, I mean, you know, it's a billboard with a, but you don't want extraneous stuff in your, in your mm -hmm. picture. So that's why you, you say to yourself, well, what's the picture? Well, yeah, but I like the near pictures, but sometimes the things don't being coupled with it are. Yeah. You know, they're not extraneous. No, no, I, 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 tend, I, I tend to crop tight. Okay. Is is what I I do what for the subject itself? Yeah. Uh, because when you have extraneous stuff in your photograph, you're taking away the viewer's view of what the photograph is really about. Mm -hmm. And and when you look at something, you don't know where to look mm -hmm. because you're distracted by something that's extraneous. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't add to the image. So that's that's why. So now that's the Mass Pike. I mean, you won't see those signs. You won't see toll booths anymore, ever, <laughs> probably. But I wasn't thinking of that. I just thought that. Now, I think I may have taken Bumper World, and that was in the subconscious of my mind. It's, it's possible. So I like the sign in Mexico. So that kind of goes together. But I, I just like the uh, the idea of Mexico turn left, mm -hmm. mysterious. Of... I mean, I just couldn't believe that there are two semis that are carrying caskets. I think they manufactured locally. Oh, oh is that right? Then? Are you, you in Massachusetts? You think uh, just yes, taken in yes, Massachusetts? Uh, Massachusetts or Rhode Island? I can't remember. Uh huh. And also, they provide the liner if you need so. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I was. Uh, parked in um, Cambridge and I saw this cat coming towards the car. He jumped up on the roof and then he jumped no, up to my voice. Moment. It looks like blue eyes. <laughs> From over here, uh, being blind. Uh, it looks... <laughs> oh, I had no idea. So that's probably the only picture uh, like this that I've taken in my car. <laughs> but it's the moon roof, right? <laughs> and I like it. chickens at play. Yep. And this guy is going back home to Alaska, and he's got his life on his on his truck there, and he's going to hit a bridge. <laughs> and so he's he's taking the ferry. Oh, is so it? this is Bellingham, Washington, um, and that's where the state ferry to Alaska mm -hmm. leaves from. I've seen that. There is that. I've driven by that. The cow? Yeah. I think that's near Tiverton, Rhode Island. Yeah. No, no, not the cow. That rock. Oh, the rock. Um, I definitely have seen that. You know, I don't recall. I it was it was someplace I was going to do in my immigrant book. Oh, I see. I mean, this is why this, this. It's funny how things happen. You know, you do one thing and, and it leads to another, and it and then you understand the purpose of why you did the first thing. Right. But but what makes that for me is the sign of the direction of the road that it kind of mimics the the mouth. Do you, do you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did that hit you? I mean, that's what struck me at first. I like this one. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's a little macabre, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But killer bread <laughs> kind of justifies that sign. Yeah. 
and he looks so so innocent. The the guy Dave. <laughs> So here's a kind of a graphic element that I just like the um, So you don't want anything extraneous in the picture. You want to, especially with, when you have signs that you can't uh, be distracted. Now this poodle, why this poodle turned around to look at me or look at the car behind it, I have no idea. But it, it makes the picture. And then he turned it and then he turned facing forward, right? Mm -hmm. So I really had one shot of this. So you gotta be ready when you're taking a picture and you have to have your camera out. Well, I have two of my colors. I think all, all of us have. And you think there's a blonde or a red in the front seat and it's a dog. Mm -hmm. And they coming up from behind. Or well, conversely, you think, oh my God, the, the, uh, it just happened the other day. I said, oh. Look at that. It's got his dog in the front seat. Well, it was a person. Mm -hmm. And uh, we could have taken that. You're right. You're, the opportunities. Um, and it, it would have to be shot in color to make that identification. But <clears throat> they uh, um, lost opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Well, there will always be another picture. Mm -hmm. I remember taking a picture. I was driving on um, at the brain tree split on 93 or three. And there was a Batmobile car in front of me, a replica of it, I guess. And I went to take pictures and I didn't have my memory card in the camera. Oh. Has that ever happened to you? Has that ever happened? Memory card. <laughs> Something close. Well, in a digital camera, there's a memory card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just, um, oh, you're using an iPhone, so you don't have a memory. Card. I have my dad's little pen pad. Oh, like mm -hmm. a billion years ago. Oh, so you're using so film, those. Yeah. And now we have an iPhone, so I don't know where I am. I went to England, my wife and I went to England for three weeks. Um, we traveled 1,500 miles, and then we walked between 15 and 20 miles. So halfway through, we went down to Dover and Hastings along the southern coast. And oh, spectacular view! I photographed all there. Oh, view! And the weather was great. Uh, I'm, I'm like English weather. It, for the three weeks we were there, it rained one night, and it, we we overpacked. We had sweaters and jackets, and uh, so by the time um, we were, uh, oh, it was a great trip. We really can't wait to get back to England and, and all the sites that they have. So, uh, <clears throat> took a lot of pictures. I have a uh, Canon, uh, Canon Rebel, uh, reasonable, just a cheap uh, camera, uh, not cheap, but a functional camera. And uh, so I said, I, I better take the memory chip out and put the new one in, which I did. And I had the new, the, the, the used memory chip. Uh, got back home, couldn't wait to download them onto my computer. There was nothing on the chip. Uh -huh. And I went, we went to Stonehenge, went to... They didn't report, they didn't report anything, huh? because... I I went to a Kit Kat, the, the daytime Kit Kat well, camera club, that meets at, uh, uh, at the senior center. So... They they have said they have experienced uh, something like that, and uh, and there's software to, to recover all your files. And uh, so I went to a couple of different places. Um, I went down to uh, I I camera down in Rhode Island, and and also the one that's down in Orleans, and uh, they found no files. Oh. So half my trip. Ah. Uh, uh, and I, I took on the and the other one. I take I had taken already two hundred two hundred fifty. Well, you, you have to. You just have to check your camera, make sure that everything is clicking, and especially with film camera, make sure that the camera advances. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you you have the little um, flip 
and you you keep that up so that you can see it goes around. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Common common mistake happens to every everybody. Yeah. So. That's no, uh, I know that. But, but the laundromat. Yeah, where is that? That's in uh, that's in Fresh Pond in Cambridge. Yes, exactly. Yes. So, exactly. so you were talking about the police. I was never stopped by police until the only way I could get that shot and be in the car um, was I had to park directly on the sidewalk right in front of it uh -huh. because it was on a rotary. And I could not yeah. get a shot straight on without being distracted by a street lamp or whatever. So, and and the, the, so I'm trying to angle the to get everything. And a policeman stopped. Well, he asked, "Is everything okay?" And I said, uh, "Yeah." He said, "Well, you have to move the car." <laughs> so I should have said, "I'm waiting for AAA," but I didn't. <laughs> But he yeah. went away, and then I took the photo a yeah. couple times, and then I then I got off. Did he give you a ticket? No, he didn't give me no. a ticket, but I got the shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always wondered about that place. My dog, I didn't take care of, but I think I understand that you literally bring your dog in and launch it. Bam. Yeah. It just seemed like, but I mean, they have the photo. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I wish. So later, after I parked the car, and then I just. Took took some shots for myself. I waited for somebody to bring a dog in. Ah, uh, yeah. So I have a I have that picture, but yeah. that wasn't the picture that I shot from the car. Uh, so keeping the integrity of the project, I I didn't use that, but I just used this. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a lot pictures of a lot of people, except mm -hmm. you know maybe this this person here on the. Oh. So I tried to edit a lot of shots that weren't duplicated with signs and, and trucks and so forth, just to keep it more interesting. So here's a play on doctor. Mm -hmm. And so I cropped the, the, the doctor fish so that it would be extraneous to have the top of the van. You don't need it. The mm -hmm. focus, so the, the focus is more on Dr. Fish, mm -hmm. even though it's a little obtuse because of the, the Seacoast Aquarium signage. But I think you you see, did you see Dr. Fish right away? My eye went to the right. Your eye went to the right. Yeah. Uh-huh. So when you're looking at these, do you do you look to the left or the right first? I don't know. Just in this case, I have to look to the right. Uh-huh. Probably the one that uh, has more broad, broader advertising on the side. So I put these on the on the left mm -hmm. to kind of focus on the, to the story mm -hmm. and the the image on the right enhanced the story. Mm -hmm. okay. It's the way I saw it. I don't know if other people see it that way. Yeah, right. Yeah. So those are all snowshoes. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? We... They're snowshoes. Oh, That's in New Hampshire. Oh, wow. He's the snowshoe lawyer. That's a lot. A lot of snowshoes, huh? What's that about this? The duck? Go to the duck? The duck is in Long Island. Yeah, this guy had a vision. Well, I read about the crazy land that. So Long Island used to be, um, you used to raise a lot of ducks in Long Island. And I think that this was um, kind of a shop that sold duck products. By their liver. So I just, <laughs> now it's a different kind of picture if without the person there, but I thought it was more interesting to have the picture. Oh, than the one oh yeah. Scale. Yeah, scale. Perspective, yeah. you can re, you can relate to it more mm -hmm. with a with a human. Oh, 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 oh. So that's the uh, Einstein is um, it's a scarecrow project. It's like yeah. the sharks yeah. in New Hampshire. They they give out these, and then you you dress it up the way you'd like it. Okay. And 
so I just thought Nerds to Go was a perfect. So it's a Muppet movie. type of character. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I felt like a capsule of Google and a ram. <laughs> so I heard it. I just like the way this this person has his feet out there and he just was tired from snowboarding and he's just just relaxing. <laughs> it's a perfect sign, so college. So does it does it do they tell a story, do you think? Their pairings? Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they're that exciting alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, this is not an art book. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a, it's journalistic, mm -hmm. I would say. I mean, my background is, is journalism and, and not art necessarily. I just like the way that the, the letters are, are positioned shape. in the window. As opposed to, you know, he could have had to put a big sign out in front for red, but he chose to put it yeah. The window, so I just thought that was clever. You ever see this sign? Oh, yeah. the, that's the turnpike, mass turnpike going west. This in the Hampshire? Oh, Vermont. Uh, 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 the one on the right is near, is going up towards um, Worcester. Hmm. The, the left, I think, is Route. 495, isn't it? As far as you can get those. Like these words of wisdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The fellow in the car, I just like his eyeglasses and uh, just the graphic image of, of everything that's happening with the rear the side mirror and the handle door handle and the, the white sunglasses yeah templates um i like the muscle car performance notation so that that truck carrying that beam i mean that was a lucky shot to get that graphic element and to get it in yeah. focus. And I mean, that's clear across the other side of the, mm -hmm. of the highway. And yeah, the guardrail. Yeah, yeah, the guardrail. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen an ambulance for horses? No. No, <laughs> no it's odd, isn't it? But the rabbits coming out of the hat kind of um, enhance that. But I like the sign, Howard's Entertainment. So I shot that from two different perspectives on the other side of Howard's Entertainment. And then on this side of Howard's, and this was a better side to do it. It wasn't obstructive. And I waited for that, for a car to kind of place it so to fill that negative space. Well, that's a weather buoy. Yeah. And that is huge. So this is at a at a red light and I'm behind this and I couldn't make out those icons. Yeah. No. So I, I it was telephoto and then, I mean, this is what this guy has accomplished. I, I'm presuming that the fellow in the mirror is is what this guy did has done. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's safe to say. I mean, it could be driving somebody, a friend of car. Playing, running. <clears throat> Skiing, um, kayaking, mm -hmm. paragliding. Mm -hmm. Snorkeling. 
Oh, it's a time to dance. You should you should learn to dance. This is one of my my favorites. Is that the same couple? No. Oh. Does, uh, the same couple as. Oh, this is a unicorn now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 as uh, the inflatable? No. I didn't think it was so popular. I just like that. Uh, it's it's very peaceful, isn't it? So that's King Cullum's personal limo. <laughs> mm -hmm. How how it struck me. So here's here's your marriage. You were talking about marriage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Divorce. <sale. laughs> I had mine though. I did call it before. You had a sign like that? I didn't have a sign. I just when people would stop. Oh. But all the stuff at the side of the road, I said uh. it was before. Everyone thought it was funny. But the fact that, that, that she says he's gone. Yeah. You know, the, the choice of words. Of... Oh, and then people were going to pick him up first. Oh, the husband's on sale. <laughs> Well, I guess I guess she couldn't sell the RV until he's gone. Right. Yeah. Right. Or or he couldn't or she couldn't well, have a sale. The RV. <laughs> <laughs> she should have put him in the Maybe RV. he goes with the RV. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, in the RV. <laughs> he's in the RV. <laughs> yeah. So there's a serious side here too. You ever see this guy? Yeah, those guys are fascinating, mm. aren't they? Are they? Yeah. <laughs> those are just us. I mean, what is he? Oh, how does he? Yeah, I mean. And how they decide, you know? You know, and there's a certain time that they, they do right. this, right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, but maybe that's why I was wondering, do they want to, like, adjust it? That would be the other thing to do, adjust it as for the debt traffic on that day. But they can, because they got to get this guy all lined up. Well, I just wonder what he's thinking all the time. I know. Yeah. So, so I mean, you you know, when you see things, you you kind of make up your own story, or you're mm -hmm. you're asking your questions. What's going on? So it's it's the curiosity of. I would call that opportunity. Yeah. I have <laughs> so he, I probably took around five or six shots. I mean, I I'm on the left side, so you know, I'm in the I'm in the fast lane, so I can't really slow down. But um, I was able to get a few of those, and and that works because you you want to get you want to show the the divider right. mm. as much as possible mm. to to show what it is. Have you seen any weird mailboxes uh, that people have? Mm. I like the golf ball. And the, that's a golf ball on a tee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, the one, um, the, those are manatees mm -hmm. in Florida. It's fun. I mean, I still have a, a, a mailbox when I bought my house. It's, it's over 25 years old. Oh. <laughs> Why? So the Maryland on the garages is up by Provincetown. Mm -hmm. And then actually there was a, a, an estate sale of all Maryland paraphernalia. Wow. Here's one of these, you know, trucks that uh, you want to get noticed. So. Oh, wow. So, break from moose is in New Hampshire. Yes. <clears throat> so here's a little riff on on Mister. You think you see things, Mister. That Mister. That. 
Mr. Pence, and now it's Ms. Wister. So I saw all these sun pad these solar panels, and and I pulled over, and then I maneuvered the car to get the best the best angle. That's somewhere in the west. It might be New Mexico or Arizona. I'm not sure where. Um, I was in traffic at a red light and um, I was in the right hand lane and, and on the left hand lane this this truck poop poop pal kind of went by. Again, you know, the people that choose names for businesses are, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? How did he get his stun? I'm know? sorry? How did he get his stun in business? Yeah. <laughs> Just how did you choose that, he has any that type of profession? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who pal? He has a PhD and he went into the business for <laughs> <laughs> And this is this is serious. Um, just the fact that the, that the truck driver would would put that on his truck, and you know, it's a personal. Maybe it's a personal situation that he had, or mm. his spouse, or himself, or and you see a lot of purple heart towns that 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 have this sign. I've seen a few of them. Never seen one. Yeah, and um, bottles really helped that picture. Yeah, just, yeah, right, just yeah, just creating clouds and clouds, right? Cumulus uh, clouds, right. So I just like the the idea of polite notice. Very, very um civil person saying polite notice, no turning. But can you imagine this guy trying going into him? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Again, a sign examinetics. What is that? How do you come up with names like this? So it's these kinds of things that strike me. I never saw Commonwealth of Massachusetts Office of the Chief Medical Examiner. <laughs> and where would you like to live? <laughs> Is there any question there? So that's West Side Highway in New York. Mm -hmm. And the other is, I'm not sure exactly where that is. So the Yale shutter that that's not a real dog that's a, that's a that's a poster in the back but I like the composition of it with the, with the arrow and, and the the light and the car coming over the bridge it's it's just so when when you're taking pictures you're thinking of all of these things you're thinking of the composition does that enhance the picture or you know a second later maybe it wouldn't be a good picture 
So it's so this is where thinking comes in involved in taking. How many pitches do you take a year? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Thousands. Hands up quick. The, the question is, how, you know, you have to edit them. Oh, yes. Other do ones. Well, and go back I don't edit them. <laughs> I try you can to choose the ones you want to edit. Them. Well, ideally, that would be good. Otherwise, your files just get too big. Right. So, do you ever go back and say, and have them with a second look? Thing, you know what? Actually, well, I should, but it's, it, I don't. You know, like in the memory game, like maybe you can take a new, that's what I'm saying, the marriage is maybe 10 years later you find the perfect match. Mm. Or what you took. But yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. You're like, Where was that photo that I took yeah. years ago? It would be perfect to pair it with this one. That's just wrong. <laughs> but if I have a few of, of the same subject, I, I obviously I edit it for the project. I see. So you go out with a with a thought in mind. Yeah. I see. But I don't edit them all. So there's there's like a waiting room of singles. <laughs> That are waiting for their perfect match that you well, have in your head. That, this I probably wouldn't do this project again. Yeah. So I would I would go on to another project, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, but maybe those photographs in my file could be for another project. So right. Exactly. But then, but, but then if I'm gonna do another project, I don't want to use the same photograph that was in a previous project. You wouldn't probably not. Just like that graphic element in Peru, and this is in Massachusetts, in Western Massachusetts. There are 351 towns in Massachusetts. I, did. I, I never knew it was that high. <clears throat> I thought it was about 180. 351. Wow. So there's a population year round, maybe almost 7 million, mm -hmm. which is it's small. It is. Yeah. It's, a, it's it's a small state, but it's a manageable state. You can you can go back and forth easily. You know, For every town is it both Is that what you're talking? About? There are three hundred fifty one towns. So is that kind of like a post office? Hmm. I guess so, or maybe a zip code. A zip code. Then, maybe, yeah, I, I don't exactly. know. Well, there are three hundred fifty one named towns. Hmm. I mean, I live in McCoy. We have a post office. It's teeny. So, <laughs> we with coal, right? Yeah. So we'll call it. Is that a town? It's a you village. Have a post office. It's, a, it's a village uh -huh. of, of um, Falmouth, is it? Yes. It's a village of Falmouth. So Falmouth is the town. I see. So I don't think. I don't know. I don't, I, but you have your own. Well, that's code. a good question. Yeah. I don't know if that's included in the 351. Mm -hmm. It seems a lot. Yeah, you get a lot of villages. Because Hyannis, uh, Bonsable has seven villages. Exactly. Each has its own post office. Yeah. So maybe it's where the town hall is. That could be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there's point. no town hall in Wilcoid. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. And we certainly don't have all the hospitals. <laughs> right. So so maybe maybe it's the yeah. it's where the town hall is. Yes, I'm gonna go here. I think you're right. Or you pay tax. Yeah. Well, we, uh, now there are actually people on those jobs, and uh, <laughs> they got on. They got on. Yeah, it's, it's the red line. They it's can't the red get line. off now. <laughs> Costs a little bit more for the uh, fee, but uh, oh, isn't that great? Oh my God. Three years ago, I had 37 turkeys in my yard. Oh, my. And they would come back because I put out crack corn. Oh. And one of my neighbors um, walked by the house and we're just chatting. He said, Oh, my God. Have you seen the turkeys? Mm -hmm. how, how, could they, how could they survive here? <laughs> and and uh, I said, you know, I said, well, the lot of natural, you know, they eat ants, ticks. And I didn't dare tell her that I've been buying. Mm -hmm. Crack corn down at Agway, these 50 up oh, <laughs> But the 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 turkeys, um, I had a uh, I had a Home Depot orange pail, and I walk out back 
And those little hungry characters come right up to me within a couple of feet. And, um, and but that that view, that was terrific. Yeah. Did you did you stop feeding them? Oh no, they just well because of the coyotes. They have been uh, disappearing. The next year, dropped down to twenty four, and the year after that, we only had about a half a dozen. Oh, and now we have none. Ah, because the uh, the, the county won't do anything about coyotes. Right. So this is Tucson. It's a it's a residential neighborhood, and it just struck me Cactus Club, and you know, what is Cactus Club doing there? It's just mm -hmm. it's just odd. It just struck me funny. Can you see slow turtles, egg laying season? Can you see that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that's that's the woman putting a makeup one is is at a stop sign. She's not driving. On the left is uh, that's Route sixty six. It's a lot of all these old uh, vintage cars. Can you read that old old truck, old driver, fast freight? We'll have to wait. <laughs> so why why does a person put a car on his lawn? I mean, it's not for sale. Mm -hmm. Showing it off, right? I guess. I don't know. I mean, you know, what is the story, I suppose, is what these photographs might trigger. So that's Arizona. They have mannequins. Those are ceramic horses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a caboose. So that, that depot only houses cabooses. And it's, it's a caboose club. And, the, and, <laughs> each, and each owner gets together and they, they go, they hire an engine that takes the, the cabooses on a little tour. Okay. But it's it, but a person owns that depot and rents out the, the track space for their cabooses, and I guess it's kind of like having a, a summer home <laughs> or to have a summer caboose. I saw that um, project that I was thinking about it. Um, it is a few like wood stoves, very nice black and white um, barnstable stove shop. I think it's summer in like 149. This man has a whole like the cemetery full of busted wood stoves, and they're all in various on the lawn. I was more than one. I think it's it's, yeah. it's right near the the train track. Yeah, yeah, and right next to there is down this long driveway, and all you see is they look like tombstones. <laughs> Are they Left. orderly placed? They're not on purpose. They're all scattered everywhere. Oh. But I mean, the first thing I saw when I pulled into the driveway to go buy a stove was. I need my camera. <laughs> it is unbelievable. And the man in South Old Second for another century. And the house is just like falling down. <laughs> it's worth it taking Is that across from, from, is it on the other side of the, is it right by the track? It's right by the track. It's across from the uh, the general store. He lives in like another ramshack house across the street. Mm. Oh, I, I know where it is. It's it's right. It's pra practically right at the corner of six A and um, that could be and one forty. I thought there's a little train, the train tracks, and a little place where you can buy tickets. Yes, it's right next to it. Oh, and I was thinking, hey, Mark Chester, guys, come here and do this because I could take my iPhone, but you should go there and yeah. So you haven't taken a picture of it yet? Not like mm -hmm. you're. I mean, you know what you're doing. <laughs> 
Well, you could do that. I can try. No, <laughs> sure you can. Yeah. So, um, you have a better eye. This is the end. So, I this was a, a grab shot. I was lucky to get that, but I just like the way he's on his mono wheel. He's carrying a baby seat, yeah. a suitcase, and a backpack. He has a mission. <laughs> is that a dolphin? No. What is that? Say that again. What is he holding his left hand? It looks like a, a car seat, a seat for a, a maybe for a dog or for, oh, a, for a kid. I was thinking of a dog seat, but I was yeah. thinking of the yeah. plastic of a dummy. Wow. But it, I mean, just the idea of, of the balance that he yeah. has. So it, so why did that appeal to me? I, it just, I just like the way he, yeah, with, he has it together. Yeah. And this is the back. Uh, so that's it. Very good. And here. Yeah. So, do they work? Yes. You think they, they do? I think they yeah. can. You catch it some very unique. Yeah. So this is what you see on your car, from your car. So the next time you're driving, or well, maybe you notice things already. So there's no one with masks, right? And you did, did you, did you stop during COVID? Did I stop? During COVID. No. Um, no. Um, the only one was a social practice, social distancing, that sign. Oh, okay. Because, I mean, you don't see a sign like that, do you? Right. Who sees a sign like that? So, um, that's it. What is your next project? Yeah. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Were there any ones that, that you remember strike you? Just curious to know. Um, That one's good. The turkeys are good. Uh, did that one? Aging, uh, walking into the sunset. Yeah, so there are different categories. Yeah. Different, um, mm -hmm. So you can see it's a storybook and not an art yeah. book. Mm -hmm. I mean, it tells a story. It, it, it's it's a reflection of of anthropology. Right, yeah. right. And the oddity of population to make a structure as a as a no king. What country does that? I mean, yeah. except for the United States. I travel in Europe and you never see that type of oddity. And, uh, yeah, no, there are a lot of oddities here. Huh? Right. Yeah. And it's signage and it's this is one of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a that's another one too. So we tried to design the book um, to break it up. Some are just single images that become a double spread, and the others just go along. So. I'll put a famous author. What is it? He wrote a book called Rose. Um, famous famous author. And I'm blanking on his And he did what book? He decided to just travel all of the roads um, that are done on purpose and then the ones that aren't. Well, he tried to travel the um, old roads, basically, to see how people got around before there was I-95 and that sort of thing. So, I mean, roads travel alongside water, usually. So he went all over the U.S. and traveled. And Not Robert Frank. No, famous, famous. I mean, I'm embarrassed I've ever read from it. It's out of character for him to pull. Did he recently pass away, actually? A, a writer? Writer, writer. Rose. 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 Rose to drive on. He was doing essentially what you're doing by taking pictures, but he was putting his thoughts into how is America shaped if you just take all the old roads. In addition to 66, take all the old roads and the real America, not just I forty and mm -hmm. ninety five. So were, they weren't pictures. That he was a writer. He's a writer. He's a very famous writer. So embarrassed. Yeah. So he wrote about. So he wrote about the, his travels and all the people you meet. If you just say, you know what, for the next two days, I'm going to go from point here to here, oh, and mm -hmm. write down all the people I interact with, and you just the little things, the anthropology that you pick up on. What do you snack on? 
well, how do they, you know, what's the subtle accent when I stop for gas? You know, what's the hotel room look like here versus where I stayed mm. three nights ago? I wonder who that is. Oh, it's famous. I am killing it for whole process. <laughs> Do you recall the, the title of the it? Rose, R O A D S. Oh. That's the name of the book. Oh, it, it, it recent then? Or it's um, you no, know, I read it when I drove across the country. Um, so that was in 1999, 2000. I drove. And I read, was not Rose, Rose, Rose. Rose, I wonder who did that. I'm going to be in there. Larry McMurphy. Oh, Mc <laughs> Texas. He's from Texas. Yes. And he he just he died recently. I know. I'm making that up. I could be wrong. That no, I think I think no. He, maybe he didn't die. No, maybe he didn't die. Maybe he wanted to die. I don't know. No, he, he died. I was right. He he did die. He did die and recently. Yeah, uh, 2021. Yeah. Well, it's a good book. He's it would complement your. Yeah. Book. No, that would that would. Uh, um, well, the book that, that was my pivotal experience was um, Charles Corral's book, Dateline America. Oh. And um, I was just very lucky to get the assignment to, to illustrate his essays. So I was given his essays, oh. and then I had to kind of interpolate the essay to become a, a visual. Oh, that's really neat. So, so, um, so, so, say what well, you were hired to. I was, I was, I was assigned to photograph his essays. Mm -hmm. So, and, you photograph his essays, but you came up with the look, you came up with the photograph based on reading his essay, or did he tell you go out and take a picture of this? I was given his essays, okay. and then he had a list of suggestions. I see. Mm -hmm. That was his vision. And then I took a lot of pictures from my files and submitted them for the essays, and then they would select which ones to work. And then I had to go and take some of the pictures where, that I didn't have images of. Right. And so that's what I did. But but this was really the what got me onto the whole idea of traveling and photographing and, and Journalistic. Did you um, do it in this binary fashion again? Or did, was it just strictly you read an essay, you each essay got one photo, or did you have pairing? No, no, no pairings. No pairings. For, for, for the daylight book? Yes. No. So when did you come up with the idea of the pairing? When, when this was the pairings. That's called twin, right? Oh, two right? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So these are images that. So what inspired you for that? That's the one I'm most familiar with. Yeah. So when I exhibit work, yeah, you put down all the photographs along the wall, mm -hmm. and you try try to create a flow of what they're going to look like on the wall. And so that's where I got the idea of pairing images. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, why don't I just do a book? <laughs> So, so. But it's neat. It's like you're assigning seats to someone at a, at a dinner party, you know, the pairing. I guess. Mr. and Mrs. Something. And Mr. Mr. Well, you, you, know? you think about that. Um, well, this person would get along with that person. Exactly, right. Because they have the same interests or yeah. they wear the same clothes or whatever whatever criteria that you, you right. can think of. So, so the idea of pairing um, was based on, on this project. And this was basically the same thing. But what gave you the emphasis? What gave you the inspiration? It was the exhibition. It was it was creating an exhibition. Oh, I see what you're saying. When you were putting out. So when you look content. at the pictures on the wall here, well, of course, this is not because these are stacked. But when you when you create an exhibition, you want to kind of make it visually exciting. So you were actually doing the opposite when you were laying out the pictures on the walls because you didn't want two things that were too similar together. Right. Well, exactly. Right. Well, well, they they, they complemented one another. They they complemented, but when you you want them, unless there's one common theme for everything, you okay. Here's my question: When you do a show and for two do you put the two sums right next to each other. Well, with with this particular exhibition. 
I took these two images and matted them under one frame. Got that. Mm -hmm. Join. So, so what you see in under one frame in one frame are the two pictures. I like that. I'm sorry, I asked you that question. So that yeah. that's what I did with these. But normally, um, I I wouldn't do it with this book because I don't think the pictures are are strong enough mm -hmm. as an exhibition. I think I think they show better. Right. as a presentation like this yeah and not and not on a wall i mean would this be exciting on a wall two images together on a wall mm -hmm. i don't know i don't know we're still here we're gonna see it again <laughs> you go through all of them we went through all of them yeah. wow. did that take was that was